All right, first up is Mega Man 1, the US version. State of the arts, as we all know. They weren't wrong about that, but of course, uh, high resolution graphics. Well, at the time, that might have been uh, correct. I mean, an image made of pixels could be high resolution, depends on how you look at it. The NES. If you tell someone, hey, remember the NES, remember how how it had a high resolution? I guarantee nobody's gonna go, oh yeah. That's a bit of a, an oversell, so let's just take that out. There we go. Nice little uh, yellow logo with the 3D effect, I like that. I also like this great effect on the background here, but I don't uh, quite get what it means. It's just there for flair. Well, and as we can see, the uh, actual picture, well, it was probably given to someone who didn't have any idea of uh, what the game was about. So what we've got is palm trees, of course. Every Mega Man game has palm trees. Well, Ice Mass Stage has palm trees. Why the fuck though? I don't think I've ever wondered that before, but now I did. Well, he, he got that, so that's correct. Okay, I'm gonna accept that. What the shit is this on the left? Like, what is this? It looks like a well. I have no idea what this is. No matter how I look at that, it doesn't make any sense. Got some kind of a, an oil factory or something behind here on flames. And on the right, something is exploding. Or maybe this missile is coming from those little uh, buildings from there. And something's flying here off screen. I don't know what that is. Up here, it kind of looks like like a part of a map. There's a, a spider web in here. Little house. It looks like a... Just doesn't make any sense. A missile? Or a door? I guess this is supposed to be like Wily's castle. But it doesn't look... It's like a city. That has a like a slide for people. To slide down. For fun. Into the abyss. And a glass building here. Again, doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. What am I talking about? And then we got these platforms, which are probably the footholders, right? These are footholders. Let's just say they are. And Mega Man's just casually standing on them. So why are all of these buildings going to nowhere? It looks like... Uh, oh, and behind here, it looks like there's like a... The city is behind here. Look. What? This makes actually no sense. And this part here on the right looks like Saudi Arabia. And then when we go... Uh, we go ahead and look at Mega Man himself. Looks like his legs get cut here. Look at the other one. The knee, the knee stops here. And his torso is all wrong. His, uh, his torso is looking straight to us. His chunk is to the right. The other leg starts from way uh, above the other. He's got a fucking 9mm handgun. His f his face has sunken into into the body and his shoulders are higher than his ears almost. And the uh, hel helmet piece here is not aligned correctly. And uh, he's supposed to be a kid and he's like 40 years old. Looks like a fucking monkey. And uh, he also has yellow in his suit, which uh, does not happen in this game. Okay. Apart from all of those uh, little uh, oopsies, I think it's fine. 0 out of 10. Are you ready for this though? Let's look at the cover uh, we got in the Europe. Feast your eyes on this one. This is the box we got. Yes, this is the box I had as a kid. I remember this. I remember Wily. Angry as fuck. That's probably a... Looks like a real human, but it also could be just a drawing. But it looks real enough. Has a, a lab coat. Nice touch. I actually like this. That's, why, that's how I always pictured Wily. That's how I always pictured Wily to look like. So I think they nailed, uh, nailed that. Then in the background, I guess that's supposed to be Wily's castle again. No idea what's going on. What, what is all this? Like, what's this white line? Looks like a mountain kind of thing. 
No idea what that is. Oh, it's Elekman's, like Elek Beam, look, Elekman's here. So he's shooting an Elek Beam that goes up in here like this. For whatever reason. He's on the, he's on the edge there. Nice touch, I guess. Oh, I never noticed. Somebody's fist is just randomly coming through here, look. Who the hell, uh, whose fist is this? Somebody's behind the logo, you can see parts of him here and here. Who the hell is down there? And Gutsman looking uh, quite small, actually. Fireman looking pissed as fuck. And looks like he's not wearing any pants. He's, he just has underwear. Again, the nice uh, 3D logo. I like the logo. High resolution graphics. Take that out. State of the art. Clearly. I mean, this Mega Man looks a lot better. Like, a lot better. I like I like the art of Mega Man actually, ex except the face. The face is what ruins it. Like, close your mouth. That looks awful. Just wipe the face. I don't like the face. Okay, that's much better. I almost say that this is good. I mean, it, it's almost good. It's kind of weird. It's kind of off. But I do have to love this. Maybe it's nostalgia or whatever, but this looks a lot nicer. And I like the little uh, like dust clouds here in the background. It really, the colors are pretty nice, I think. I think this is a pretty good uh, box art. Just the uh, whole face situation with Mega Man. Mega Man 2. US version. Again, the Mega Man has a handgun. Or some sort of uh, like a laser gun. And uh, of course, Quick Man is uh, avoiding it. Because he's quick. Got that right. And for some reason, Mega Man is in Fireman stage now. It, it totally looks like Fireman stage. What stage would this be? The only thing that comes to mind is Heat Man stage, but... Maybe it's Quick Man stage. Let's just say it's Quick Man stage. I don't know what the fire is about, but... I like how they got the ladder in as well, like the ladder is here. I like the look of this platform, it, it looks really good. But then what the fuck is Mega Man doing with his leg? It's like his an ankle has snapped. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. And his whole posture is just... this. All of this sucks. Scrap it. Underwear looks horrible. He's not even looking at Quick Man, he's looking at like something else. He's looking at... Uh, Looks like he's trying to shoot someone else, but Quick Man just got in the way. Maybe Quick Man is trying to save someone. Look at the proportions of Quick Man. Like, look at what the fuck is going on. I do like the background in this one. Like, I do think the background is pretty cool. Dr. Light just... Behind a... Uh, Crash Man. Excuse me? And Crash Man's art is really strange. I don't know what to think about this. Just take the face off. A lot better like that. And then this looks like Bomb Man's background here, from Mega Man 1. Maybe they were like, maybe they made the box art before the second game came out or something. I don't fucking know, why, why is Bomb Man's background? Save up to $10 when you purchase Capcom video games. Cool. Again, high resolution, take that out. Well, it's not bad apart from Mega Man's face and every other person's face. Dr. Light is alright, I guess. But now he has uh, eyeglasses. Okay, it sucks too. Just scrap this whole thing. No, that's that kind of sucks as well. I don't like the logo. Not a big fan of the logo. You know what we got? In uh, Europe. Silverman! Yes. He's in complete silver armor. And his uh, buster looks like a, a pin. Just uh, makes me wanna go bowling. I don't know why he's in silver now. No idea. What? The fuck is this? Jesus, look at that. I think it's the uh, goblin heads from Air Man stage, but come on, why the f- Who? H why? Why does Wily's castle look like somebody's skin melted off their face? Oh goodness. Who's this motherfucker? Just a black fellow. Who's this? Okay, Mega Dragon. In silver. And he's really small now. I don't get who the black figure is. And like a like an evil fish. Is that from one of the wild stages, the grey fish? This really bothers me. Who the hell is this guy? Who is this? Am I drawing a blank or high resolution graphics? Nah. Gotta love uh, 
How Mega Man has the Michael Jackson glove. Why? Again, the face. Horrible job. Take the face out. Maybe this is from Bubble Message. Like the shrimp, but that's a far fetch. Mega Man 3, baby. Look, uh, it's much better than the previous ones. For some reason, uh, Mega Man is shooting Sparkman right in the dick. Look, nice shot. And uh, Sparkman looks pretty badass. Looks nothing like him, but it looks cool. I mean, for a box art, Sparkman looks really cool. Look at the legs, look at this, look at the spike. That's uh, one badass drawing, I have to say. The Mega Man looking like a, a retard again. What the fuck? Just cover this whole area. Other than that, Mega Man looks pretty alright. Just the buster design is a bit weird. And of course we could talk about the... Uh, hands. Like uh, some fingers are... Uh, sometimes joined together. Something something Inafune. Yeah, we get it. So Mega Man's posture is alright. Again, the shoulders are a bit too high up, I think, but... Other than that, I think this is really fine. All of this. Top man. Green as always. That's how we remember Top Man. What the fuck? And Rush has joined with Top Man for some reason. He looks uh, high as fuck. And now they got the Wily's Castle, like, right. Now it looks like a Wily's Castle, but it's pink. It's all pink. I don't know what any of this shit is. And there's some planets in the background because Gemini Man stage. I guess. And yet again. They use the same, like, level. Like, look. Look at down here. They use the same ladder, the same fire under here, and the same platform, pretty much. As they did in Mega Man 2. Why the hell did they use the same kind of background? Okay, well, this sucks, then. This sucks, too. All of this suck Take this out. I think, while this castle, th that shouldn't be all pink. I'm not a huge fan of the logo. The colors clash. Like, the red border with the blue. That's kind of bad. Why did they use the same background though? That's gotta go. I mean, the whole background has... That's just gotta go. I like this effect here. Sparkman can stay. He's badass. We got this in Europe. I remember this box. My friend had it. I think this is my favorite box out of all of them. This just looks good. I think this is really fun. Got all the robot masters. They almost look like how they should look like. I don't know what... This is just Sherman. Just ignore this. I don't know what this is. Uh, again, the depiction of Wily, I think they nailed Wily. I think that's uh, a pretty fun looking uh, picture. I like when they uh, make uh, Wily look like that. Brings uh, more character in. Got Breakman slash uh, Proto Man here. Mega Man's got some silver armor, you know. Not sure why. Maybe he's got a. Maybe uh, that's just a, a paint job. Also, Rush has got some silver. Really nice. I think this is overall the best box that we ever got. I like the logo. Has that 80s style. And Mega Man's face, not bad. I don't like the nose. The nose can go. The mouth is not good. But I think uh, for the most part this is pretty good. And for some reason the silver like fi fits Mega Man. Maybe he's got a power or something. <laughs> now I've got your power. Shadow Man? I think that's fine. Sparkman looking like himself. Gemini Man looks kind of retarded, missing a chromosome. Magnet Man, that's fine. Needle Man, I don't know what the fuck's going on with his mouth. Top Man, high as fuck. Snake Man is alright. Hard Man, I don't know, kind of looks like Guts Man here. Other than that, pretty good box. And then moving on to Mega Man 4. Again, the face is just horrible. Got these red fucking cheeks. Just take those out. Take the mouth and the nose out. The eyes are almost alright, but the uh, eyebrows, take those out. Okay, that's good. And the skin color though, that's wrong. That's orange. Just make it... That's... that's. Okay, that's not good. I like these speed indicators here on his helmet. Look at that. Like he's jumping down from the cliff. And then you got the snail from Toad Stage in here. That's a cool little uh, drawing. And now Cossack's castle is on top of a mountain, apparently. Nice buster shots, I like this. I've got a pharaoh man shooting 
fire. Just a straight up uh, fire shot. And uh, apparently he's also now Jesus. With this aura around him. And this looks like the Pharaoh of Shards here, but it probably isn't, it's the sun. What stage would this be? Looks like Trill Mass stage partly. But it also looks like uh, fucking nothing. I guess this could be the auto scroller stage, if you think hard enough. There's your planet that's really close to uh, whatever the place we are in now. Uh, there's your uh, red planet. Mars is right here. And Saturn right here. From Ring Mass stage. Mega Man 4, I like the logo. The logo is good. I like this. Pharaoh Man, done fairly well. I don't think there's anything wrong with Pharaoh Man himself. I think that's fine. I mean, as fine as it can get. So, all in all... Well, Cossack's uh, castle is a bit too simple, but hey. All in all, it's not bad. And a bit of Russia in here. Look. Not bad. Not a bad cover, I have to, uh, I have to say. It's quite good. And then, of course, the European version of the same uh, cover is right in here. So this is what I remember. This is the box I got. I think they just uh, improved it. Mega Man, I think that's, that's a pretty good face for Mega Man. I think this is pretty legit. I think uh, they did a good job uh, with this rendition. And the snail is bigger. The, the picture is closer up than the other one. And I like the detail in Mega Man's armor. But the face is humongous, like if you compare it to his body, like his face is almost half the size of his uh, complete body. So that's what I don't like. So this was uh, a bit more in proportion, I guess, the American version, but otherwise, if we ignore that, it's pretty good, it's pretty fun. And there's your fingers again. Pretty fun. I like this cover a lot. And... Uh, it's just a clearer version of the American one. Then we got Mega Man 5. Gravity Man on the cover. Has no fucking place on the cover because he sucks. But nevertheless, Gravity Man is here. G for gravity. He's shooting uh, sparks out of his hand. As we all know, he does that. And then sparks out of his buster. What? Look at this fellow. Well, that's a happy little fellow right there. Got the red planet here again. Proto man in the background. Because he's evil now. Looking pretty good, but he's... Uh, yeah, because... Uh, or break man, because he's firing at Mega Man. He has infinite bullets now. The fuck is this spike thing here? What is that? Like an... Like an iron? What is that? Oh, it's the bottom of Gravity Man's shoe, or leg. It has spikes under it. Of course it does. So Gravity Man's just jumping on Mega Man, firing in all directions, kind of like Rambo style. M for Mario, as we know. And now we have a green planet. That's really important for the lore. Got little uh, satellite dishes. And again, the uh, speed stripes on the leg here. For Mega Man, look at the attention to detail there, nice. I do like the background, it's pretty cool. This is one of the better covers for uh, a Mega Man game. Again, the face, I kind of hate it. I hate this whole area. It's kind of bad. Just take that out. And again, with the eyebrows, take those out as well. And the skin color is wrong, just... That's bad. And Gravity Man can control gravity. But he also has a jetpack. Now those are just decoration, I understand. What about the European version? The European version again is touched up a little bit. No... It's almost similar. It's almost exactly the same, I mean there's like a slight color uh, difference. Yeah, it might even be the exact same cover. Little small minor differences, I guess. But it's basically the same. So Mega Man 6. I think uh, Mega Man's face is horrible again, the mouth. Ch take the mouth away. The nose is horrible, the cheeks. Ugh. Beat is here. That's a fine looking uh, piece right here. I like Beat. 
The logo is good. I like the. The jetpack is done pretty well. Good looking suit for Mega Man. The jet adapter here. Here's a wind man firing a, a propeller at us. And of course the uh, bigger fellow from Yamato Man stage. A night man throwing his uh, mace with a red shield. Of course. Take that in. And then just a, a normal castle. Just an everyday normal castle. Nothing nothing special. No while you're nothing. Just a castle. From the medi medieval times apparently. Again with these uh, mountains. Water. Grass. Star uh, flag here. For star men. Wait a minute. Really big mountains uh, back here. Nothing much to say. I don't, I don't like this a lot. But they did a good job on Mega Man for the first time. Windman is kind of like, what the fuck is going on with him? I'm Windman, I, I control air pressure, because I have fans. Mega Man 7. You know it. I like these enemies though, here. Look, that fellow. Who the hell is that? Seriously, who the fuck is that? Looks like uh, King Kong in armor. There's like, like a random spark ball here. And while he's fr flying around in his UFO, he looks alright. There's like a war going on in the background. Shade Man just firing at somebody. I like this one. This is a cool graphic here for this enemy. Mega Man looking alright. I think uh, his nose is a bit too long. But Mega Man looks pretty good. Look at his belt. WWE belt. That says MM. There's a Cloud Man in the background because everyone knows. It's kind of bad, so he doesn't need to be on uh, frame fully. Another uh, planet, I guess, or whatever the fuck, a dome right in here, I don't know what that is about. And just the city collapsing, I like the background here, the background is nice. And again with the buster shots, cool logo as well. Quite a fun looking background, while he has huge hands. Look at the size of those hands. In any case, if you can tell who the gorilla man is down here, let me know. Now here's a fun one, Mega Man 8. Okay. It's Mega Man just firing a buster. They just went all in for this one. What did they do for Europe? Ah. They threw Wily's face and then they put Mega Man on it. Wow. And at this point they knew that their covers were always garbage. So for Mega Man 9 they went all in. This has uh, gotta be uh, one of my favorite covers. Ultrasound, graphics synthesis, 8-bit fidelity engine. Gotta love those. Game pack by Capcom. Wily. Probably the best rendition of Wily. I mean, if this was the game, I'd probably still play it. If they just made this the whole game. And they took the grid back in the background from uh, Mega Man 1's uh, box. Like this set here. Look. Mega Man, interesting design, I like the buster. <laughs> and he still has a handgun on his other hand. The fuck is this in here? Just like an angry mob of robots. Wily has a scar. And he's half robot, so he's a cyborg now. I really like this cover, it's pretty cool, I'd like a poster of this. And I think there does exist a poster of this. This is really cool, I like this. Really nice uh, colors. Mega Man 10, equally as cool, I think. Now that's cool though, I don't like this as much as I uh, do Mega Man 9. It's a bit more... Uh, like they were trying a bit too hard on this one. I like the visor. <laughs> Proto Man looking badass, look at that helmet. Straight from... Uh, shit like Jetman. Base, can't even... Uh, can't even tell what he really looks like. Huh, this is a weird one. The three faces in the background. Really uh, dire. Parallel hyperbit interface. Dual FX twin engines. They're good at uh, coming up with shit like that. And again the grid. The grid is back. In a different form. Well, you can't hate this. It's pretty cool. Mega Trigger in the background for some reason. 
And uh, if you wanna talk Rockman and Forte, well, let's just Mega Man and Base in the cover. So what is there to look at? That is some fine art for you. Why did I do this? I don't know. See you around.